The Superior Central School District is asking voters to approve a 2.73 mil transportation and technology bond. However, voters can feel good about supporting their school while paying less on their taxes. We're at an opportune point to, to look at a transportation and technology uh, bond issue. Uh, we had a 1992 bond that passed and that bond is currently dropping off significantly. So it'll go, that bond goes from 6.11 mils this year down to 2.73 mils next year. So there's a significant decrease um, in the taxes paid locally. So what would that decrease mean for an average homeowner in the area? If you have an assessed uh, home at 50000 so a retail value of a $100,000 home, uh, your taxes would go from $455 per year down to 380 So it's, it's a net decrease even with a new bond. And the reasons for the bond being proposed are extremely evident. As a district, the buses cover 225 square miles. Our, our transportation plan in the last few years has been purchasing used buses, and that's not a viable transportation plan long range. We currently have a couple of buses from the 1990s, actually. We've got a 2001 bus that we run daily that's got 250,000 miles on it. If approved, the bond would support the cost of eight new buses over three years. The bond would support technology in two different ways, one of them being security communication and technology systems. We'll bring a new PA system so that we can make announcements and everybody can, can hear them clearly. Uh, it'll also bring in some strobes so when there are different emergency situations, like if there's a lockdown, there'll be a, a strobe for that, uh, different sounds for fires, tornadoes, lockdown procedures. So just enhance our, our security at our school. The other way would be for instructional technology. And we want our students to have the newest technology, be exposed to as much technology as they can be, so that when they leave Superior Central and head off into the workforce or into higher education, they, they've got the tools necessary to be successful. With the golden opportunity to make these needed upgrades to the school and still have a decrease in taxes, support for the bond has been strong so far. That will be determined further after residents vote this upcoming Tuesday. At Superior Central Schools for ABC 10 and CW5 News, I'm Caleb Scanlon.